Yo, what is happening guys? Better pack a lunch here, hoping that everyone is having a great day and that you've found yourselves plenty of time to get into some Call of Duty Zombies. Lately, I've been making informational videos on Cold War Multiplayer and Call of Duty Vanguard as I'm trying to balance out my overall coverage on the latest news and tricks in the Call of Duty series. If you guys are yet to see my video on the most overpowered glitch in Call of Duty Zombies history, I highly recommend you lads check that one out as it is a lot of fun to perform in-game, and it's just plain and simple insane that you can have unlimited everything while in a game of zombies. Anyways, that isn't today's topic for the video. Now, the biggest news as of late is Call of Duty letting us know that Sledgehammer this year will not be running and taking leadership of the up-and-coming zombies mode in Vanguard, and that actually for the second year in a row, Treyarch Studios will be in charge. This is slightly concerning to me, not really because they'll be taking command of zombies in Vanguard, but the fact that Cold War hasn't nearly yet maxed out its lifespan, as we still have over two months before Vanguard is officially released. Treyarch is incredibly busy right now between those two projects, and I just really hope we can have a wild and smooth first experience of Vanguard zombies, as well as making Cold War go out with a bang, leaving us a cliffhanger for what is to come in the near future. Now, I'm sure quite a few of you lads have heard Treyarch will be in charge of zombies, but it is also confirmed that Treyarch will be continuing the Dark Aether storyline. When I first heard this, I really couldn't believe it, and I had to surf the internet a bunch of times to make sure that it was true, and before I knew it, I saw many people covering the subject, such as my good friend DK Dynamite and the Gaming Revolution, also saying that not only is the Dark Aether story continuing, but it is also a prequel to the storyline in Cold War. This data was then confirmed on the Charlie Intel site, informing us that the story in Vanguard will serve as a prologue to the Cold War story, continuing the Dark Aether storyline. Now, this is incredibly interesting to me, because there is no saying as of now how far before the Cold War story this will take place, and if we'll even see half or any of the characters that are involved in Cold War Zombies right now. I kind of picture in my mind that when we hit the end of Vanguard's lifespan, that as the new Call of Duty is coming out, that in the last map we'll have a direct tie-in with the events that happen right before D-Machine. I really love Treyarch's approach this year, as since this is not their signature title for Call of Duty coming up in Vanguard, that they're going to be doing a prequel so when the next Black Ops game comes out, the Treyarch can do a sequel to the story in Cold War that takes place directly after what happens in DLC 4 of Cold War, tying in the two games directly. As far as Zombies goes, this is all that I have for official news at this time, but I do have a couple of things to cover on new features that will be existing in the overall game. Call of Duty, one or two weeks before a massive update is set to take place, will always throw many teasers at us, giving the community an idea as to what is to come for the near future. You guessed it, <laughs> that is exactly what's happening right now. On Charlie Intel's website, the latest news in Cold War reads, quote-unquote, Call of Duty Warzone and Cold War have officially teased the Judge Dredd operator. This dystopian officer will bring a new order to Call of Duty. Along with this tease, we have a few pictures of close-ups on Judge Dredd's armor plates on his shoulders, a close-up on his hand showing his traditional gloves that you see in other arts of him, and his belt buckle, which has the American flag on it. Now, I'm not surprised that Treyarch's going with this 90s action heroes approach, as they had done the same thing previously between Firebase Z and Marauder Toten when they had officially released the John McClane and Rambo Operator Bundle Pack. This is a good indication as well that we'll be able to obtain this character from a brand new bundle pack that comes with Season 5 Reloaded as it releases. So, insane stuff as Treyarch again is taking this action hero approach to the Call of Duty series. Let me know what you guys think about this decision by Treyarch in the comment section below and inform me who you would like to see come into Cold War as an operator in the near future. Lastly, in this video we have a teaser for a weapon which could be very well added into Cold War to be used in the game. If you observe the Port Nova Sijin skin, you can see in one of her holsters, which is a very small pistol, that 100% looks like the Makarov pistol. Pretty cool seeing this on the Port Nova operator again as it makes us wonder, will this Makarov be added into the game? Now, we really don't know for sure, but we all know how Treyarch works, as they love to throw in some very discreet teasers before they add something into their game, so I wouldn't doubt at all whatsoever that this weapon will make an in-game appearance for us in Cold War. I think it'd be pretty sick considering we haven't wielded a Makarov pistol since Black Ops 1, and 
What some are saying is Black Ops 2, though I for whatever reason don't really recall it being in the game, but anyways, don't be shocked if you see this weapon coming in the near future. Well, with that being said, I think this will wrap it up for today's coverage on Vanguard and Cold War. Let me know if you guys enjoyed today's video in the comment section below, and make sure that if you are yet to subscribe that you do, so that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. This has been your host, Better Pack a Lunch, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.